Basement Studios in suburban Chicago. It's That Wine Pod. My name is Pete, and across from me, my co-host, the titan of Tempranillo, Vino Mike. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I almost want you to change it to like, Matthew McConaughey, he's like, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> oh, man, so we got, we're just talking tonight. Like, we have no subject. This is that wine show about nothing. What? What's that? What's this episode? What's this going to be about? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Wine. Wine is the star. So As it should be. It should. So we're just going to kick it right in. All right. Tell everybody Take it in. what's in that bottle. Today, in that bottle, for episode blankety-blank, yeah. we're drinking some Rioja. We're going to Spain. I love it. We're going to Spain. Rioja. Some, uh, I love Rioja so much. I have so much enthusiasm for this region as a whole because it's, it's, it has a ton of history, yet it's currently so fucking innovative. Like there's still, there's like a little revolution going on there and you get all these different styles and interpretations of wine that is mind boggling, not overwhelming, but just like, wow, this is all from the same place. So yes, mostly, and, mostly Tempranillo. And I would add affordable. Yes. That is like the, the seals the deal right there. Yeah. There is no other region on earth. And if you're out there to disagree, let me know. Let's throw down because bring it, bring this shit. There is no other region for wine on earth that offers as much quality for value as Rioja. And I'm talking on the world class wine level. I would agree. Not every single bottle from Rioja is world class, but they have a shit ton of world class wine that ages decades upon decades. You know, they're ageable. They're complex. They're Delicious. They're okay. I what, what I mean, what region, what region hits it out of the park every single time? The, none. 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 All right. So it's a special place, yeah. and All so right, anyway, we're back we're, to the wine. We're tasting a real hot today, and this this is a great. Uh, this is going to be a fun one to talk about. Here. It is. It is. It is. <laughs> I, I'm like, I don't want to give away too much about the bottle, but no, go ahead. this one um, is called Honoro Vera. And Honora Vera is a relatively new wine um, from, from this region, from Rioja, but it is produced by a family from Spain that is not new to the game at all. No. Uh, the Heel family. All right. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Simple, straightforward. Honora Vera, Rioja, 2017 vintage. Um, it is... Produced in a style that is just upfront, juicy, easy to drink, delicious, like gobs of fruit. What's what's fascinating about Rioja is that you can get a wine like this, or you can get a wine that's been aged in a wood barrel at the winery for eight years. Right. And then the winery itself holds it in bottle for another five years. You know, something like, uh, who am I thinking of here? Lopez, Lopez de Heredia. Lopez de Heredia, Cune. Some of these very old school Rioja producers that produce classic old school Rioja that have all the gnarly, organic, funkiness that I, I love about this region. I think Rioja fans have come to love about the region. And then you have a wine like this. That yeah. It, it's bottled, it's, it's produced, it's bottled, it goes to market. And this this one is something special, though. Yeah, I would I would agree. I mean, all right. So first of all, this wine retails under ten bucks mostly. Yeah, I didn't I didn't want to lead off with that because that's like, if you taste this wine right. blind, or not knowing how much it costs at least, right? No fucking way are you gonna guess that this is under ten bucks a bottle yeah. retail. Yeah, and that's that's exactly why I mentioned it. That's exactly it. And so this one's a little bit special because I tasted this the first time on a trip, on a wine trip. That's awesome. All right. And with the One Hill family wineries, uh, and we were going around tasting at each thing, and 
this one came out and I knew the Honoro Vera line, right? So they make a few other Honoro Vera wines, right? And I asked, as soon as I tasted this, I'm like, whoa, wait a minute, time out. It says Honoro Vera. Is this like just a temporary thing? Like what's going on here, right? Because I knew Honoro Vera wines typically retailed in the yeah, under ten dollars. Could could be like right. six ninety nine. Some, some of those, some places, some of those yeah. wines, and they're they're overall known for like very good quality for yeah. this price. And it's and it's the Hill family, like one Hill family. They don't put any crap out. Oh no, no. The, the high quality stuff, right? So I'm on this trip and I taste this and I am blown away, right? And I'm tasting much more expensive wines on this trip, and the one that I remember is right here, right now. Awesome. This is the one I remember. I liked it so much that I said, how much did you make? <laughs> because I think I would buy all of it, right? Mm -hmm. Like if I had my druthers, I would have bought a container of this stuff. And the, the key to me was trying to figure out, hey, what, why? Like what, why in the hell would you do this? Like what the fuck is going on with this kind of quality in this bottle? This, I'm just sniffing this while you're talking and this is unfucking real how good this wine is for this price. Yeah, so I mean, it's, it's, but it's got more than fruit. Like it is a gobs of fruit, right? But it's got way more. Yeah, and, I, and it's not a fruit bomb, but no. it's like the fruit is so juicy and delicious and ripe, but there, there's this pepper note and this earthiness in there that you come to expect with Rioja wine. This little, a little mix of like dirt, you know, wet dirt, but also kind of rocky, stony type right. soil in there. Yeah, there's a minerality, and again, Mike, I'm afraid that the microphone is going to take a bath because there's oh, lots of acid going on here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already drooling all over it. You know, you know me. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm tasting this wine. I'm absolutely loving it. I'm trying to figure this out. So they start to tell the story of, hey, we're, we just bought the winery in Rioja not long ago, and I believe it was Rioja Alavesa. I'm not mistaken. Um, okay. And they weren't ready, right? They, they A bunch of, a confluence of events kind of happen, right? Where they're not ready to bring out their premium Rioja. Because I believe, and they didn't say this, but I believe this will end up under a different bottling with the same fruit, mm -hmm. right? So if I bought, if I had to spend 20 bucks on this, I, honestly, I'd be more than happy easily with this wine like i would think i got a hell of a deal at 20 bucks like if you bought this for 15 oh steal you'd be you'd be thrilled yeah. with your purchase yeah. like wow this is really good for a 15 dollar bottle of wine yeah. like eight nine bucks whatever right. under 10 right. give it away give it away now yeah right and so I, they started to explain hey we put everything into this right okay and i was like wow so it's the first, it's the inaugural release. It it's, is. It's never been released. This is the very first vintage I, I believe of so. Honoro Vera yeah. from Rioja. Right. So there's Honoro Vera from other regions in Spain. Right. But this is the first one from Rioja. Right. And the other, you know, will be like Garnacha and, and other, you know, grapes, other varietals. There's, there's some white. You know, them. they do, and they do a rosé that's surprisingly good. And rosé is quite good, yeah. You know, it's just, it's just popping for fun, fruity. Easy to drink. Rosé all day. Rosé all Rose day. Rosé all year. Absolutely. I'm 100% on board with that. Ain't just warm weather wine. That's right. Come on now. You don't just need to buy your Whispering Angel in the summer, you know? Whispering. The, when I left the trip, I couldn't wait for this to get here. Mm -hmm. I, I was all over the distributor and, and the supplier. When's this coming? When's this coming? When's this coming? Because I knew I wanted to buy cases of this. Mm -hmm. And I would say, honestly, Mike, I'm not sure. So I bought multiple cases of this wine. But I think you you bought a case, right? I bought two cases. You bought two cases. Not, not like up front, but I bought a case. And once that was through, the wine, there was no more in the market. Right. And then they got another drop of it at some point. And I had to buy another case right. when that came in too. Right. So I think, I don't think there would ever have been another wine that you and I both bought multiple cases of. Yeah, I, I usually don't buy cases. Uh, you know, you, you kind of get tired of the wine a little bit. I don't mind buying two or three bottles at a time. 
or maybe I'll end up buying a case over six months, right? Because I keep going back to that bottle and buying it here and there. But this is one like is absolute. You cannot go wrong. Yeah, I I agree. I got a lot of as many people as I could get to buy a case. I I got everybody to buy to buy yeah. this one. Yeah. Um. So anyway, I I don't know if it can be found really in the market. Uh, maybe the 18 is available somewhere Yeah. Uh, under some one hill label. I'm not even sure if it's on Rivera. I haven't looked. Yeah. But the, the this one is so damn special. So damn special.